The General Command of the Bahrain Defence Force expressed its sincere condolences to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Interior, and to the family of the policeman Mohammed Tanwir, who fell in the line of duty as a result of a terrorist attack. The General Command wished the policeman who sacrificed his life in performing his duty eternal peace and to the injured security men a speedy recovery. The General Command declares that it is fully aware of such acts of terrorism and criminal schemes against the stability and security of the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by the heads of sedition and evil who plot and incite with support from abroad and carried out by criminal hands conspiring against the nation and citizens. They will all be brought to justice and the law will be applied fully. The BDF stands ready to respond to the terrorist group who target security patrols and police officers carrying out their duty to maintain security and are equally ready to deal firmly and with determination with these sedition groups and their leaders. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the wedding ceremony of Royal Court Minister Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa's son, Sheikh Khalifa, at Rifa Palace. His Majesty expressed his congratulations to the groom and wished him abundant health and happiness. Attendees expressed their congratulations to His Majesty the King and wished Bahrain and its people many happy occasions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, Ahmed Al Mullah and Ali Al Saleh, along with members of both councils and state officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underscored the great national responsibility of members of the Representatives Council in serving citizens, reiterating the government's keenness to provide every support to boost cooperation between the legislative and executive branches and back MPs' legislative and monitoring role. His Royal Highness also lauded the democratic practice of MPs and stressed the need for more awareness and unified opinions in order to achieve what is best for the country and its people. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of stronger Arab cooperation and parliamentary cooperation to face current challenges, especially economic challenges, through holding more visits and meetings and enhancing the tourism sector. He also affirmed the need for more meetings and visits. His Royal Highness then congratulated First Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohamed Fakro, on winning the Arab Parliamentary Excellence Award from the Arab Parliamentary Union meetings in honour of the achievements of the Legislative Authority in enhancing the democratic practice.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudebia Palace. The cabinet hailed His Majesty the King's directive to fight extremism and terrorism and highlighted the fruitful results of the 13th Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, which was held in Turkey. The cabinet then strongly condemned the terrorist act targeting a Bahraini police patrol with Molotov cocktails in Karbabad, killing one policeman and wounding two others. They expressed condolences to the family of Mohammed Tanwir, who died while performing his duty and wished the wounded a quick recovery. In line with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to follow up providing Bahraini citizens with the best level of services, His Royal Highness directed a follow-up in implementing the development project in Halal Buham Mahar. He also instructed accelerated efforts in distributing the housing units of East Rifa housing project. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting. The Cabinet approved a recommendation of the Coordinating Committee headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince regarding providing a new type of gasoline fuel known as super to consumers. The Cabinet approved the amendment of the penalty law regarding underage participation in security incidents. The Cabinet approved a draft law project regarding amending Article 105 of the Public Security Force Law. It also approved a number of MOUs between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt in the educational, health, cultural, diplomatic, sports, agriculture and tourism fields. The Cabinet approved the Kingdom's joining of the World Bank initiative regarding ending the routine gas flaring. The Cabinet also discussed the cancellation of the Information Affairs Authority and reorganising the Ministry of Information Affairs and referred it to the Minister of Information Affairs and the Civil Service Bureau for further studies. The Cabinet discussed a draft law regarding amending some law provisions of the t Law 26 for the year 2005 regarding political associations. The Council referred a draft law to the Representatives Council regarding social support. The Cabinet discussed a recommendation on regarding the prevention of overfishing. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the RCO held its second forum as part of an Arab Orphan Day sanctions. His Highness signed an agreement regarding establishing a new kindergarten in the southern province and launched the new website of the RCO. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to Bahraini orphans and lauded the remarkable efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in providing orphans with all their needs and requirements.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and founder of the KHK MMA organization, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, hailed the outstanding organization of Fight Night to UFC on Fox 19, organized by the Ultimate Fighting Championship at the Amelia Arena in the U.S. state of Florida. His Highness lauded the huge efforts of UFC President Dana White in organizing such a major MMA event and affirmed that the huge number of spectators reflects the, success, the successful hosting of the event in all levels, highlighting UFC's leading position in the MMA field. He also added that the Kingdom's participation in this international event would contribute in promoting Bahrain's developed MMA field. His Highness expressed his admiration for the outstanding performance of Khabib Nur Muhammadov in the main fight, which reflects his intensive preparations for the championship, in addition to the efforts of the technical and administrative staff. He added that achievement would encourage the fighter to exert more efforts in order to gain more achievements and become the top fighter in his weight class. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, affirmed the Council's full support to the BDF's statement, which stipulates combating terrorism and uh, taking all necessary measures to deal firmly with the sedition groups and their leaders. He praised the role of the BDF in protecting the security and stability of the Kingdom, its gains and achievements, and the reform project led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. Al Mullah also expressed appreciation to the Interior Ministry, affirming that combating terrorism is a national responsibility that ensures the safety of citizens, benefits the country and the development of the democratic march of the Kingdom. The Jafariya Endowment Directorate, the GED, issued a statement in which it has condemned the terrorist attack which targeted an on-duty police patrol and claimed the life of one policeman and injured two others in Karababad village on Saturday. The GED stressed that such acts violate all religious teachings and all laws and conventions. In its statement, the Directorate expressed its condolences and sympathy to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Interior, and to the bereaved family of the victim, wishing those injured by the terrorist attack a speedy recovery. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. As part of its continued efforts to support Bahrainis throughout their developmental stages, Temkin participated in several career fairs at various universities, including the University of Bahrain, Gulf University and the Royal University for Women. Temkin's participation in career fairs comes in support of youth empowerment through vocational training and skills development. During the fairs, Temkin highlighted their participating students and attendees Temkin's various programs and how they can utilize them to enhance their future careers and businesses. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,126.56 points, an increase of 3.28 points above yesterday's closing. The rise was in the commercial banking and industrial sector, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 87.67% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 18 equity transactions took place with a volume of 686,327 shares, worth a value of 157,514 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 